up you guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking on today's video so as you can tell today we're gonna be doing a good old-fashioned q and I asked you guys on my Instagram the little Instagram question thing that you can do now I asked you guys to ask me some questions so what we're gonna be doing today is answering some of those this is honestly some stuff that I've kind of wanted to talk about for a little bit uh, but I didn't really exactly know when to bring it up uh, so some of the questions I was expecting to be getting um, but you know some of them are gonna be serious some not so serious so let's just jump into it question number one is how do women react to to my loose skin so I'm assuming you're probably talking about you know when I'm being intimate with somebody and the answer to that is honestly I've never had an issue with it because when I if, if I'm planning on being intimate with a lady we've probably been talking and a lot of times honestly they probably have seen my Instagram at some point or something right and so they have seen that I have loose skin so I've never had an issue to where it was like a one-night stand kind of thing and they had no idea that I had it and then they were surprised when they took my shirt off right it's always been something that they kind of knew beforehand uh, but what I am like I'm very honest with it I'm very honest about it like I'll tell the person if I'm interested in them I'm like oh uh, you know I need to tell you something you know I've lost a lot of weight they're normally like yeah I, I know and I'm like okay well with that there is loose skin and normally they're like yeah I know that you already have that or they'll kind of just hear me out I've never really had an issue with somebody being freaked out about it because I'm always upfront before that would even be an issue will you ever do another men's physique competition now this is a good question and honestly <laughs> I have some pretty strong feelings about it so personally for me what I've realized with a lot of people that are morbidly obese that decide they want to you know go from one extreme to another like I did it honestly just almost never turns out good. So I don't I don't plan on ever doing another men's physique show just because my general, like what I'm doing now, I do I, I go to the gym for health, right? I, I, I work out for health. I care about my, my health before anything else. And men's physique shows, for most people, I don't wanna, you know, make all the people that do men's physique mad at me or anything like that. But what I've realized, especially with people that are morbidly obese, it turns into going from, you know, I'm trying to get really healthy to I need to be as lean as physically possible. And then it ends up just being very, very, very unhealthy. Uh, so I don't think I would ever do one. I, I really recommend people to avoid them if they, if the only reason they want to do it is because they've seen other people do it, myself included. Like I almost, I don't want to say I feel bad, but I, I feel like a sense of responsibility for this because of, you know, me competing and, and showing all of that I tried to be as honest with you guys as possible and show how hard it was and how difficult it was but at the same time like I I know that I'm sure I glamorized it a little bit so I do feel a sense of responsibility but for me personally I don't think I'll ever do another men's physique show and I, I really recommend people unless they have like a burning desire and they feel like they need to do it if you just kind of want to do it I would avoid it and just go to the gym work on your health and don't worry about getting that lean because there are so many negatives that come with it and I'm not I have not seen very many positives that come out of that. That. This may be personal, but do you slash have you struggled with body dysmorphia? Because if so, same. This is a hard question for me to answer because like I'm, I'm really thinking about it and I, I feel like I have probably struggled with it and who knows, maybe I still do. Um, I feel like a lot of people that go to the gym like religiously and, and, and work out all the time, there's almost like a slight hint of that with everybody. Again, I'm not saying that everybody's like that, but I wouldn't be surprised if, if like there's a little bit of that for me, but honestly like I am very happy with how my body looks now um, and a lot of people People probably don't believe me when I say that especially with the loose skin but honestly like I've built something that I'm so proud of that like even like though that I have a little bit of loose skin it doesn't take away from the hard work that I put in but again I don't know who knows maybe I do have a little bit of body dysmorphia and that's why I'm always going to the gym trying to improve what I've already built all right so this was absolutely the most asked question on the Q&A why did you and your girlfriend break up now I know I have not posted this on a video or made a post on Instagram I've talked about it in the stories a little bit but me and my ex are no longer together we've been uh, broken up for about a month now so it's been a while um, the reason, it's weird because I, I want to talk about it to let you guys know, but at the same time, like, it's kind of not fair, obviously, because she's not here to tell her side of the story. But I would say the main reason that things were things ended um, I, I was the one that decided to end things uh, so it wasn't like I had my heart broken or anything like that it was still really hard not an easy decision to make because I am somebody that wants always wants people to be happy and always wants people to be you know feeling good and I knew that that decision that I had to make was going to make someone feel really bad for a little bit but I felt like it was the better choice than in the long run kind of because the, the, the main thing that the main reason that I ended things um, was because I just wasn't in love with the person that I was with. And that sounds really harsh, but I'm not trying to be mean about it, but 
after nine months, I knew that this wasn't the person I saw myself getting married to in the future, and I did not want to waste their time anymore. Uh, and so I, I kind of started to realize that for a few weeks, and then I was I was wrestling with it because again, like I said, I don't want to make anybody upset or make anybody feel bad, but it was starting to weigh down on me, and it was starting to show in the relationship, and things were not going smoothly anymore. So I was like, you know, I, I just need to, to end things and, and try and be as, you know, keep things as platonic as possible, and hopefully we can be friends. Um, it's difficult. We still go to the same gym I see her every once in a while we don't really talk but luckily there's no it's not like we hate each other and like we're fighting when we see each other um, it's just one of those things that I think it'll be kind of like a time kind of has to heal things especially for her because again it was probably a little bit out of the blue for her which I don't even like talking about that but it was really difficult it was really difficult for a few weeks I've been I've been getting better uh, in the, like I said, it's been a month, uh, but yeah, it was it was my decision. Um, but again, I, I really feel like it was the best decision for us both in the future because again, like if I'm gonna be with somebody and, and spending a lot of time with them and taking up a lot of their time, I want them to feel like it's actually worth something. And if I'm not madly in love with someone, why am I wasting their time and my time um, being in a relationship with them? So that's kind of the most basic way, I guess I can, can kind of explain how, why we broke up. There was literally no, we never, we never yelled at each other, we never argued, anything like that. Um, well, I mean, we argued a little bit, but we didn't like yell at each other, it wasn't anything crazy, there was no like cheating or break, like nothing like that. It was just, this is, it, it, there was, I was not in love with the person. And that's kind of the most basic way I can explain it. Are you a fan of guns? Yes, I am. <laughs> this is kind of turning into a uh, like relationship Q&A, uh, but did you lose your virginity while you were obese? I'm assuming you meant lose, and yes, I did. And it was very, difficult the act was not easy there was about one position that worked and that meant me on the bed and the person you know on top of me and uh that was it that was the only way anything could happen it was okay i mean it was my first time so i, mean, I felt great about it uh but yeah things are definitely better now <laughs> what is your philosophy on relationships what do you think is necessary to make them thrive for me i would say communication, like talking to the person, letting them know how you feel. Because I know for me, if I start holding things in, there's gonna be a time where I'm going to like explode. And I know it sounds not like in like, a, I'll start yelling and screaming, but I'll start like everything that I've been struggling with or everything that I'm not happy with, I'll just let it all out after like one little tiny thing happens, right? So for me, it's, and even, this is even something I struggle with, is just communicating with the person that you're with. Like that is so incredibly important because if you're not communicating, you don't know what's going on, they don't know what's going on. And so like that is, I feel like the most important thing. And then on top of that, just having similar interests. Like for me, if I was with somebody like, I would need them to at least care about their health and care about fitness and care about that stuff because it's so important to me. Like I can't imagine myself with somebody that didn't care about those things. Uh, but on top, like before all of that stuff, it's communication. Like that is absolutely the most important thing. Will you make any workout plans for us? So this is actually exciting. There are some things in the works, some like plans that I have that I'm, I'm really, really excited about sharing with you guys. It's gonna be a little bit, but I really think that it's gonna be helpful. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. You know, have workout plans that are, you know, tailored by me for you guys. So if you're, if that's something you're interested in, let me know, but it, it should be happening very soon. So yes, I will have some workout plans and hopefully we'll be able to get it to where there's a workout plan for at home if you're not able to go into a gym and then also workout plans for if you are able to go into a gym but it's still gonna be minimal equipment so like any gym that you go to would have the equipment that you might need for the workout plan so that is something that is coming up very soon and I'm very excited to share with you guys is it hard to have a relationship with you being in the spotlight does it cause issues being completely honest I think that it does <laughs> like I think that for anybody it would be hard to see when I get comments from other people like calling me cute or attractive and stuff like that. Like I can only imagine that's not easy to deal with. Um, and that's just me, like that's something that I would I would struggle to deal with if, if it was my girlfriend that I was seeing all that stuff. Uh, but I do think that it causes it causes some issues. And I But I think with anybody with any job, there's always like parts of that job that make a relationship a little bit harder. Whether it's your job makes you travel a lot and you're gone all the time, or your job makes you, you're just at work all the time doing things or you always have to be on your phone or all of the, like there's I feel like with most jobs there's reasons that it would make it a little bit harder to be in a relationship because of that job and it just so happens that my job means that 
I have a lot of people that kind of care about what I'm doing and a lot of times those people it might be women that are attracted to me and I know that sounds very very like conceited I'm not trying to say it like that at all but like just you know I, I I'm sure you guys see the comments right and so I I will say that I think it probably does make it a little bit harder and I'm, I'm sure I, without a doubt what I do has been part of why former former relationships haven't worked out because it, it does make it hard. It does mean that I have to be on my phone a lot and some people just don't like that. It does mean that I, you, you have to deal with some comments from other people. It, it means you have to deal with me going to tr on trips and, and, and visiting people and doing things and, and flying and, and all these things like all of these things kind of lead to it being difficult to be in a relationship. But I do genuinely believe that I can find somebody that is okay with all of those things and, and is willing to, to to work you know through those things and and make things work because of those things um, so I, I'm I'm not one of those people that thinks lo love is dead and that I can't find somebody that will be good a good fit for me I just I've realized now that I just need to wait and uh, not try and force things and and understand that that person might not be here in San Diego they might be somewhere on in this huge world that we live in right like there's tons of people that could fit the bill and that I think that I could fall in love with so I, I definitely do believe that like love's not dead and I do believe that I can find somebody it's just about finding that right person uh, but I will say to answer the question yes absolutely 100% I think that what I do makes being in a relationship a little bit more difficult. But there you guys go, that is uh, what well, what turned out to be a relationship Q&A. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys asking the questions and these are all things that I've been wanting to talk about for a while, so I'm glad that I was finally able to bring it up. Um, you know, I, I felt like I was as honest as I possibly could have been. I hope that you guys get where I'm coming from. But again, I, it, I, it really is cool to me that there are so many people out there that care about what I'm doing, care about my life, and and want to know about this stuff. So never, never ever feel like you are prying in my life a lot of the questions like oh this might be too personal it's never too personal because I put myself out there for you guys I I do this to myself right so it's never too personal it just like with the breakup and stuff I I, I feel like Things like that I should give a little bit of time before I just start talking about it in videos and so I gave it a month and now I feel like I was able to talk about it and hopefully you guys were able to see where I was coming from. But yeah, that's gonna be the video today you guys. I really, really appreciate you guys staying here and watching the video. Thank you so much. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh yeah, look up a fam. Uh. <laughs> Obey the warning signs and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until it comes to a complete stop. Seven.